The British government had already, or the British, the Kenya government had already decided Mr. Kenyatta was guilty, and it was just going through the form of a trial to convict him. The trial was held at Kapanguria, which is about 30 miles from Kitali. It's a little village, and it was held in a schoolroom. And we had to motor every day 30 miles and back again in the evening. We couldn't stay in the only hotel in Kitali, which was reserved for Europeans at the time. We found it very difficult because the government had access to all the witnesses they needed. They actually had a camp in Kapanguria where the government witnesses were housed and coached. Uh, we had to get our witnesses from various parts of the country. And uh, it entailed every evening ringing Nairobi and asking our people here to arrange to, to find these witnesses and send them to Kapanguria. Um, naturally, the government, our line was tapped all the time, and they knew who we were after. And we invariably found that when we went to look for this witness, he, was, he disappeared. He was not available anywhere. Um, we, had, we knew he was locked up somewhere in a, in a camp. He was picked up in order to frustrate the trial. Um, the judge who was um, conducting this trial had, re had retired but he was brought in specially for this case. Uh, we were, he was well known to be anti-African. And um, the irony of it is after he passed judgment that, that morning, he had to leave the courthouse in an armored car and was not seen in Kenya again. You, Jomo Kenyatta, stand convicted of managing Mau Mau and being a member of that society. You have protested that your object has always been to pursue constitutional methods on the way to self-government for the African people and for the return of the land which you say belongs to the African people.